Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm going to be testing out the brand new L'Oreal foundation and it is the infallible 24 hour fresh wear. So that's what it looks like there and I'm really excited about this because I really do like L'Oreal foundations. I think they're always really really good and they also have a really nice kind of colour match with my skin as well. I'm excited to try this out and I look a little bit crazy just now because I have been doing like a little tutorial on this eye. But I've just switched video to film this. Um, so yeah. I'm really excited to try this out and let's just go ahead and we'll get started. Okay, so let's read a little bit about the foundation. So it says here that it's available in 26 shades and it has a weightless feel, a fresh wear liquid foundation uh, that's transfer proof, life proof, party proof and waterproof. It says it's long wear formula lasts up to 24 hours, no compromise, full coverage base and ultra stretch with gel formula. It also says the fresh wear foundation long wear no longer means thick and heavy coverage. The innovative oxygen technology gives a lightweight feel whilst the ultra stretchable formula ensures full coverage application so a little goes a long way. Okay, so I'm intrigued about the whole full coverage aspect of it. Okay, now let's get started. So the shade I have is 200 Golden Sand. Um, yeah, so hopefully this is a good match for me. Uh, I've been sand in a couple other L'Oreal foundations, like the Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation. I was sanding that. That was a good match for me with and without a little bit of tan on. So hopefully this will be just as good. So I'm just going to apply. Oh, so straight away it's quite a thin. Oh, it's very thin. It's quite a runny formula. Very lightweight. Yeah, very lightweight. So I'm intrigued to see how full coverage it will be. Because it does say it's full coverage, but it feels like a kind of really... Um, watery formula so what I'm going to do is just apply it to one side first so I'm going to apply mm, maybe maybe that amount will do just now and I'm going to buff it in with my Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush Okay, so it's really lightweight, feels really nice on the skin. It has a scent to it, like it's a very fresh scent No, It smells a bit like, oh, what was the smell now? It smells a little bit like, is it like suntan lotion or after sun? I don't know, something like that, but it's actually a really nice scent. Like it's nothing too, like it's really nice and fresh and I like it, yeah. I don't really mind a foundation with a scent to it because normally the ones that I have tried that, that do have scents, um, they always kind of die away. Like the scents, you know, they don't like linger on the face, which is quite good. So, yeah. Okay, so the coverage of this is actually really, really, really good. Yeah, that's really good. So, like, look at the difference there on either side. Mm-hmm. I do like that. That is really good. I did not expect that because, like as I said, the formula is quite um, watery. So, yeah, it feels super lightweight. Like, I actually don't feel like I have any foundation on. Oh my god, it's amazing. Okay, so this is all blended in now. And I am really loving how this looks. I did not expect this to be as like full coverage is this, like it really is a high coverage foundation. There is just a little bit of redness still peeking through but you can definitely build this up because it's like super lightweight. The formula is like very lightweight and very, very watery so you could add like another layer on top of that and it wouldn't feel thick or heavy. Um, so yeah, I love it the way it looks just now but if you want that extremely full, full coverage you could definitely put like another layer on here and be like fine, it wouldn't feel thick or cakey. So what I'm actually going to do is, is just apply a teeny little bit just right here on my cheeks here where I get a little bit of kind of redness. So just apply a little bit more here and just see how it covers and how it feels. So yeah, super super lightweight. Very easy to kind of blend in even on top of um, the first layer. Still feels like nothing on the skin, 
just making sure I blend it into my neck. Um, it's actually a really good match for me actually. This is the, uh, the shade Golden Sand. Like I said, I have a little bit of tan on. I have a light tan on um, right now and it matches pretty well. So I'm really impressed with the, uh, the shade. The undertone is really good I think for my skin as well. It has that kind of um, warm golden undertone which is nice. Um, so yeah, really impressed with this so far. I love how this looks. I'm now going to apply it to the other side and see how it all looks together. Okay, so we're all blended in now and this is how it's looking and I am really really liking this. I am so impressed with this. Um, it looks so flawless on the skin there. Like, it's not going into any like fine lines. It looks good around the nose area as well. Like it's not um, looking cakey or anything around there, which is really good. I think that's all to do with the really um, lightweight kind of gel formula. So what I'm going to do is is apply my concealer and see how it looks after that. So for concealer, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi Use Sculpting Concealer. This is my favourite. Um, right now. Okay, so I'm just going to apply all the rest of my makeup and see how the powders all layer on top of it. Okay guys, so I've applied all the rest of my makeup and this is how the foundation is looking with my powder and everything on top. And right now it's looking really, really good. Like, it literally looks so flawless on the skin. And um, what I forgot to mention actually earlier was that it has a bit more of a kind of matte finish to it but it's not like a flat matte um, it doesn't look dry it doesn't look cakey or anything like that it has like a really gorgeous kind of healthy matte finish to it like a satiny matte finish but what I was thinking when I was applying all the rest of my makeup was if you don't really like the new makeup revolution conceal and define foundation then you might like this one because this one's a bit different you know in terms of the formula the formula of this one is a lot more kind of runny like more watery if you know what I mean so it's not going to feel like that kind of thick or anything on or dry on your face and it feels like you have like nothing on your face at all and um, so yeah this one I think is a bit different from that one however you still get like that full coverage um, finish from it if you know what I mean. I think it's worth trying out because I do really love it. I think it's gorgeous and um, it looks super flawless on the skin and I haven't seen it caking or drying up anywhere when I've applied um, like all my powders on top so that's really good um, so far. What I'll do is I'll give you a little update down below in the description box or the comment section. I will let you know if it changes throughout the day, let you know if it cakes up in flat then I will let you know down there. But right now it actually looks really gorgeous on the skin and I really like the smell of this one. It smells really fresh because the um, Makeup Revolution one smells a bit like paint. So yeah, this one is nice and fresh but the smell does disappear once it goes on the face. But anyway, yeah, so that is it for this video guys. Um, let me know what you think about this foundation down below in the comment section and how you think it looked um, on or how it looks on my skin should I say. Um, yeah. So if you like this video guys, remember to give it a big thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button just down below if you're brand new to my channel and I will speak to you very soon in my next video. Bye!